Hello to all. I am Vishnu. So today I'll be sharing some amazing tips as in how you can remember therapeutics easily. So you know very well that therapeutics is a part of our PharmD curriculum and PharmD PB curriculum as well. M Pharm pharmacy practice they also have to study therapeutics. So we have three therapeutics: one, two, and three. Uh, in PharmD second year you have therapeutics one. In PharmD third year you have therapeutics two, and PharmD third uh, fourth year you have therapeutics three. What I observe from my personal experience is. the biggest mistake that we do while studying therapeutics is we always study directly from the notes or we study directly from the book now before i go into that detail please make sure that you watch it till the end because i'll be sharing some amazing tips and at the same time there is a bonus for you also at the end of the video which might excite you So as i said the biggest mistake that we do while studying therapeutics and it's not just therapeutics any subject pharmacology therapeutics pathophysiology even human anatomy and physiology also to some extent we study directly from notes and books and that is not correct why when you are studying from somebody's notes you are trying to copy their perspective and always remember everybody have their own perspective that means everybody have their own level of understanding when you are uh, studying directly from a textbook which is of a very huge standard then also you are trying to copy their perspective now it is not wrong because obviously when you make your own notes you are somehow copying their perspective but please remember the example of a review article in which you are not exactly copying the entire passage you are trying to frame it in your own words so you can only frame it in your own words when you understand the concept so same thing is applicable for your study as well if you want to study therapeutics better please make sure you go to youtube first like what i do is if i for example i have to study alzheimer's disease i directly go to youtube because i know nothing about it i directly go to youtube then there as i said there are a lot of amazing lectures in youtube you know you will get uh, uh, some lectures you know on whiteboard they explain some people they explain in the form of animated lectures so when you see all those things it catches your interest number 1 and number 2 when you see something visually when you hear in the form of podcast or when you discuss with someone this is neurology plus psychology combined that you remember things better so go to youtube and get a base first so whenever you want to study therapeutics go to youtube get a idea about the disease first get an idea first and once you get an idea as in what the disease is then after that if you are referring dipiro handbook if you are referring roger walker if you are referring comprehensive pharmacy review if you are referring pharmacotherapy principles and practice it will be easy for you so please don't directly refer textbooks don't directly refer notes because you are just trying to copy the perspective and it will not make any sense the next thing that i want to tell you about uh, therapeutics is that uh, you need to understand very well that therapeutics is a combination of 3p and 1d so it is uh, in the form of an equation therapeutics is equal to 3p plus 1d 1p stands for pathophysiology pathophysiology you know very well how the disease occurs in the body based on the risk factors or etiology the next p stands for pharmacology that is the pharmacotherapy that we are talking about the next p stands for patient counseling so patient counseling means we have drug associated patient counseling we have lifestyle or disease associated patient counseling and d stands for diagnosis how do you diagnose the disease please make sure that you don't go too much into the detail of diagnosis because diagnosis is a tremendously huge concept because there is something called differential diagnosis also in that and you know it's not so easy to learn yeah if you are getting practical exposure in the hospital where you are being taught the same then you are very lucky it is good but otherwise in diagnosis you can just uh, understand what are the different tests and how are they performed and what is its significance 
So still I will suggest that if you want to study diagnosis, go to YouTube. That will teach you better. So this is how we need to study therapeutics. First, we need to go to the text, uh, YouTube, get an idea. And then after that, if you shift to notes or maybe, you know, textbooks or something like that, it will be easy for you. Okay. And uh, another thing that I want to tell is whenever you study therapeutics, it also dep depends on the reference that you choose. Now, many people, you know, we always say Dipiro, we say Roger Walker and all these things. So you need to understand what is the speciality of these books and why these books are good or complex. See, if you are a person who wants to study things according to British standards, for example, if you are a person who wants to prepare for exams in the United Kingdom, there is an exam in Ireland known as PSI. So for that Roger Walker is very good. If you look at the epidemiological statistics mentioned in most of the diseases under Roger Walker, they say according to United Kingdom standards. So, and it is a very simple book also. It's updated edition is, I think it's a sixth edition, uh, 2018 or 19 version. If you need that PDF, you can contact me. I'll send it to you. And uh, Dipiro or Comprehensive Pharmacy Review, Pharmacotherapy, Principles and Practice. These are the three, you know, top books. And these are written according to American standards, right? So if you are a person who is preparing for some other exams, then definitely you can resort to these books. They'll give you sufficient knowledge. Don't directly go to Dipiro main book because it's like 7,700 odd pages and you will completely get confused. So Dipiro handbook is amazing. It's updated. 11th edition is available. It's a 2021 edition. If you need that PDF, please contact me. Just uh, message me on WhatsApp. I'll share the number. You can just uh, contact me. I'll share it with you. And there is another book which many people don't know about. It is Pharmacotherapy Principles and Practice. It's an amazing book. In, in fact, in my WhatsApp groups, I had shared that book. It was actually a part of a Christmas gift. If you check in Amazon, uh, the price is like 14 or 15,000. The most latest edition is sixth edition, I guess. It's 2022 edition. If you need that PDF, please let me know. I'll share it with you. So this is one thing that I wanted to mention as in how you should study therapeutics effectively. Because many people ask me this question and many people are struggling with memory. So I thought that this is very important that I share it with you. So coming to the bonus that I wish to give all of you. So there are two books I have with me right now. One is Antibiotic Essentials and the other is Washington Manual of Infectious Diseases. So this books actually I had bought because I'm working as an anti antimicrobial stewardship clinical pharmacist. So I felt that these books are literally amazing. But at the same time, these books are costly also. Like I think I got this for 1994 and this was like seven or 800. I don't remember. So I'm planning to scan the pages of these books and uh, I'll be sharing with it on maybe you know I, I have a lot of whatsapp groups so i have a group which is specifically dedicated to antimicrobial stewardship chapter wise i will be scanning and sharing it with you you know because see it's not about the price of the book but many people are there who actually cannot afford to buy books you know there are many people who are coming from you know struggling economic backgrounds they actually want to learn but they are not able to afford the money to buy books and I believe that this kind of amazing books will definitely help those who want to learn more about antimicrobials in a smart and effective manner. So I will be sharing this uh, scanned PDFs from tomorrow chapter wise. So please make sure that you join my stewardship uh, platform as well and uh, get the best knowledge out of it. Okay. If you have any doubts or if you want to communicate to me, then please make sure that you contact me on WhatsApp. I'll be sharing the number in the description below. So thanks a lot for listening to me. I hope this video is informative for you and it is and the bonus is also attractive to you. So please contact me accordingly and always remember I am there with you. Thank you so much.